But let's dive in. Let's start with the topic that's going to get me the most views. Let's talk about the PewDiePie um, news. So in the news, this is the YouTube news, the biggest YouTube, well he's not, they, he's not really the biggest like subscribed YouTube anymore, that's um, T-Series is the biggest like subscribed channel, but I'll say he's the biggest subscribed YouTuber because T-Series is, um, is a company, not just an individual person, so I'll say he's still the most subscribed like YouTuber. The thing is, more people know PewDiePie than T-Series, like, the only reason why people know T-Series is because there was a big thing about who's got more subscribers now. But like, I think in my mind, PewDiePie will always be superior over T-Series. Like, Same. Always. I actually only know about T-Series because of the drama. Yeah, that's the news I know. Well, T-Series is only big because of the Indian company in India. There's lots of people, so they probably all just subscribed. The news about PewDiePie is that he signed an exclusive deal with um, YouTube to be exclusively streaming, like he'll only be live streaming like his video game plays or whatever he feels like live streaming on um, YouTube. A lot of um, different gamers have done this, that deal like um, Ninja and a bunch of other gamers signed a deal with uh, Mixer to um, live stream with them exclusively, so PewDiePie signed with YouTube. I'm actually very happy that he has YouTube over other companies because I remember a um, time where he was he, where he was bouncing back and forth from different platforms like Twitch and other stuff and YouTube to see what he prefers. I'm just glad he chose YouTube. But like YouTube is the first platform I think he started on, so... Yeah, he did. That's how he got he famous. You just stick with that. In I'm my just... mind, like YouTube kind of owns PewDiePie, because PewDiePie is YouTube famous, not anything else. So yeah, I would say that's a good thing. There was a time where PewDiePie and um, YouTube were having like drama against themselves, like when PewDiePie had the whole um, thing where he by mistake said the N-word on a live stream and um, Nazi like Things he apparently said some Nazi stuff that was spreading around, so that time wasn't good for him. And YouTube was kind of like trying to like act like he's not a part of YouTube. Like that time they cancelled his um YouTube original, YouTube premium show, Scare PewDiePie, some other deals with other companies for him kind of stopped. So that was a hard time for him, but I'm glad that him and YouTube are back on the same page. It's also good to see YouTube caring about their creators. Yeah, it's like like YouTube. Can't really afford to lose PewDiePie, well they can, but they're going to lose a lot of people watching videos on YouTube because PewDiePie, people go on, the, on YouTube for PewDiePie really. Like everyone knows about PewDiePie pretty much. I wasn't a big fan of him when he did his old gaming stuff, but now that he just does like comedy videos, I prefer those, they're funny. Yeah, like I enjoyed the gaming and the other ones, but yeah, like, like not that like like i don't game but i enjoyed watching his gaming videos he knows how to make kind of watch yeah there also was a time when the logan paul situation was going on where where um, pewdiepie got upset with youtube and it's not saying he really like cared about his youtube premium show he actually didn't really care that it got um cancelled he kind of just made a meme about it like bring back scare pewdiepie like he made a whole joke about it but he was upset that um youtube was kind of like because at that time Logan had his film series, The Thinning, with YouTube. And I'd stopped production works, like stopped, uh, like they were about to like release the movie, the sequel, and then they stopped it. And then that kind of was like, like his, like, you know, he deserved that after what he did. And they actually uh, did uh, release the movie. It's kind of like not fair, even though I know way more people, like other actors were involved in the movie compared to PewDiePie's show. I just don't think it's good that, that he didn't get the same treatment as like all the other creators. Human yeah, I suppose, up. but like, on like the amount of time that Logan Paul had been working on the thinning wasn't even funny, like he had been working on it for a long, 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 long time. But PewDiePie probably worked hard on his show as well. Yeah, mm. go both ways. Both creators are no for fact work hard. So I'm just super stoked that PewDiePie chose to stream with YouTube and I'm glad the PewDiePie and YouTube beef is squashed and now they're all good. One thing that was very annoying is that when I was trying to do some research on this topic, the one thing, the one thing that I wanted to know, none of the articles told me about. I read like three different articles and none of them told me the one thing I wanted to know. And all I wanted to know was how much he's getting paid for this deal and none of them had the answer. I know he is definitely getting paid for it. Of course, like, like... Like, he wouldn't pursue it if he wasn't getting paid. I wouldn't either. You got, like, say, 100 million subscribers or something like that, and then you go to somebody and they refuse to pay you. Mm, I don't think so. But I think one of the big up-and-coming YouTube YouTube channels is Mr. Beast. Like, I, th I think he's the only guy that could 
overtake PewDiePie, even though he doesn't want to. He's a fan of PewDiePie. I think eventually he might, or get close, but... Yeah, that'll be a fun time. But yeah, Mr. Beast has got some videos. He's cool. Mm. I enjoy them. He's generous. Yeah, he is very generous. But I think he's also more just like... Like, I think he's generous and also just just like, look how much money I've got, but... He's humble. At least he's like, look how much money I've got, and then he's generous with it, so... Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, he's not just keeping it all for himself. So all in all, I'm happy that PewDiePie is sticking with YouTube and doing a nice deal with him. I'm glad YouTube is respecting their creators and treating PewDiePie for the way he deserves because he brings like a lot of people to YouTube and does a good thing for the platform. So I think everything is just good and I'm happy he chose YouTube instead of like Mixer or Twitch. And your thoughts? Uh, I reckon so too because like PewDiePie, as I said, is like, is like an original YouTube, like, I don't know, like YouTube sensation more like i don't know and he's probably like one of the first youtube celebrities yeah he like 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 he belongs to youtube like exactly. i don't want to say like yeah he belongs but he belongs in youtube he doesn't belong on twitch and stuff exactly. no more i know people aren't gonna like that but i think he belongs in youtube i also agree